All right, so there are six gangs in Red Dead Redemption 2. And in this video, we are going to find out which one is the richest. So to do this, I have a pretty simple plan. Uh, we're just going to go to every gang hideout in the game. I'm going to kill and loot the crap out of it. And I'm going to accumulate every bit of valuable and every bit of dollar that they have. Add it all up together and count that as the gang's net worth. Okay, so the first game we're going to start with is the Murphy Brood. You should be able to find them holed up somewhere up by Beaver Hollow. All right, here we are. I need the right weapons for this because these guys are pretty crazy. Come on, you jerks. Tell me your net worth. How rich are you boys? You guys are really nuts. All right, that's everyone. Let's start looting this crap. All right, herbivore bait. That's something. Any secret treasure around here somewhere? You guys have got to be sitting on something. Oh, some jewelry in this. Nice. Oh, well, I've looked in the cave. There wasn't much of anything in there. All these guys seem to have is a bunch of plants, I swear. All right. Well, after selling everything at the fence and general stores, Murphy brewed at $32.53. That is just freaking pathetic. How does an entire gang of people live off of like a little over 30 bucks? I mean, I guess it makes sense. They weren't living in a freaking cave. Well, on to the next gang. And their hideout should be Shady Bell. This gang is probably gonna be a bit more heavy. We got this. Gonna snipe them af from afar. Let's go, you hillbilly hicks. And no scope. Oh, ho, ho. light work. Same process. I've taken away all my money. Let's loot them all. Let's see how high we can get this number. Gosh, the inside of the house looks so different before the gang gets here. After adding up all their funds, they are significantly richer than the Murphy Brood were. Still not a crazy sum, but $60.78. Okay, hold on, wait. I forgot that the Lemoyne Raiders actually have a second smaller hideout just outside of Shady Bell by Bulger Blade. Technically, if we're being accurate here, I have to include that in my accounting and my calculations, so... Guys, now that brings up their final to total to an actual $84.92. Okay, next up, the Irish O'Driscoll Gang. So this is one of the biggest widely encompassing gangs in Red Dead Redemption 2 with multiple hideouts throughout the map. So it's going to take a long time for me to account for everything. But to keep it simple, let's start with their main hideout, which should be Six Point Cabin. Anybody home? There they are. Crap, there's, they have women at that camp? All right, let's do this. I'll save you, woman. Don't worry. Don't let those men take advantage of you. Bro, imagine she's actually one of them and she kills me. Crap. You thought. Let's loot these guys. So we're not even close to being done yet. The O'Driscolls do also have another major hideout at Hanging Dog Ranch. So we got to deal with this first. Yep. Come on, you disgusting boys. Oh, you're not running anywhere. Got to include you in our calculations, buddy. All right, let's start looting these dead bodies. Bro, I swear every single one of these O'Driscolls has a pocket watch. It's gonna add up to a lot of dough. Holy crap. Man, there was like a money stack with $100 in just one lockbox there. Holy crap. So after selling everything, that gang $275.65. A huge jump. So now for the last three games, we're gonna have to switch to John simply because they can only be accessed after the end of the main store. So we're gonna be starting with the Del Lobos. Now they have a whopping three main hideouts, so it should be interesting to see how well they can do. Uh, I think we're gonna start with their de facto hideout, which is in Thieves Landing. All right, hello boys. Ready to tussle? Oh, keep laughing, amigo. We'll see if you laugh with a blade on your neck. Okay. Finally. All right, let's salute these people. Okay, so that should be everything in this hideout. On to the next one. All right, so the Del Lobo's next hideout should be Fort Mercer. Holy crap. God damn. Holy crap, look at all this bread. All right, this might give O'Driscoll gang a run for its money. Okay, now that's that hideout done. One more. Okay, so I was just about to enter Gap Tooth Breach, which is the last hideout. These guys are getting a little bit triggered. You, what the frick do you guys want? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. 
Okay. Rum roll, please. After selling everything to the fence, we're gonna get... Holy crap. $541.42? Yo, they blew the O'Driscolls out of the water. I was not expecting that. You see, the thing is, they I got so many gold nuggets from that that like it just added up. Like I had like five gold nuggets. I'm pretty sure gold nuggets are like 20 or $30 a piece. So that, that was a good one. They have now taken first place. But now the next gang, the Laramies. So the interesting thing about the Laramies is that their location is actually at Hanging Dog Ranch as well, just like the O'Driscolls were. But since this takes place eight years after that, uh, O'Driscolls are kind of like extinct now, I'm pretty sure. Now, th these are the Laramies, not the O'Driscolls. So as far as I know, this is the only gang hideout that they have, so. <laughs> okay, so those people had some bread. They had, they had definitely had some bread, but. So we're gonna go to the fence now. Okay. And the moment of truth. Ooh, that's a close one. 380.55. They beat the O'Driscolls, but they did not surpass the Del Lobos. All right, what's gonna decide everything? The last game, Skinner Brothers. Okay, so the very interesting thing about the Skinner Brothers is they technically don't really have a hideout. It's more of just like a group of them that tends to spawn somewhere around Bear Claw Camp and you have to kill them, but it's not like a hideout. You know, it's just like a nomadic traveling group. So we just need to find some Skinner Brothers. I'm betting like 10 to one, these are gonna be the poorest gang, gang like by far. Like I doubt, I doubt where you're gonna crack like 10 bucks or something. There's like, it's literally gonna be what I find on a few bodies that I see. Got your hair, oh, boy. okay, I got the random event. We found him. Let's see how much money these boys got on him. All right, these assholes are just threatening me. It's not a problem. Right, how much did you guys have? A little bit of chewing tobacco, some cigarettes. Damn, this is sad. Just a recipe for lung cancer. That's all I'm finding. I'm gonna try to find a few more of them, see if anyone has like any actual money. Otherwise, we'll sell some of these cigarettes and that will call it a day. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's that? Oh my god, it's a bear. Okay, that is not a Skinner brother. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, 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 no. Get away, get away, bear. Holy crap, how is he still not caught me? I thought bears were supposed to run like 30 miles per hour. Look, I got the high ground now, you bitch. What are you gonna do now? Yeah, that's right, and I got a gun. Yeah, dead. Wait, are these the Skinner brothers? I think we finally got some. They just randomly attacked me in the woods. Not a problem though. That guy had a lot of money. Four bucks. That dude also had four bucks. Holy crap. This guy's rich. Oh, okay. And that was the, the mall. $47.33. Yep, I was right. They're broke as fuck. So those are the final results. We got the Del Lobos in first. We got the Laramies in second. We got the O'Driscolls in third. We got the Lemoyne Raiders in fourth. We got the Skinner Brothers in fifth. And yeah, turns out actually the Murphy Brood were the poorest, which makes sense. I mean, once again, they are living in a damn cave. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, uh, please leave like, uh, sub. Yeah. Thank you.